focus on hefty foods. You don't have to exclusively eat high fat foods to gain weight. Actually, you'll gain weight more steadily and safely if you adjust your diet slightly to include denser foods and extra condiments. Consider these options. Drinks. Try protein shakes, juices or whole milk. Avoid diet sodas. Breads. Hearty and dense breads, such as whole wheat, oat bran, pumpernickel and rye, are more nutritious than white bread. Cut thick slices and spread generously with peanut butter, jam, honey, hummus, or cream cheese. Vegetables. Look for starchy vegetables, potatoes, peas, corn, carrots, winter squash, beets. Avoid vegetables that are mostly water, broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, green beans, celery, and cucumbers. Fruit. Choose dense fruit, bananas, pears, apples, pineapple, dried fruit, over a watery fruit. Oranges, peaches, plums, berries, watermelon. Soups. Go for hearty cream soups instead of broth based soups. If you have trouble with edema or high blood pressure, you may want to avoid store bought soups that are high in sodium. Added oils. When you're cooking, add a generous amount of oil to your food. The healthiest oils are unrefined, extra virgin oils such as olive, coconut, canola, palm, and, of course, butter. Less healthy but still acceptable sources of oil are those high in omega-6 fatty acids, pro-inflammatory, such as safflower, sunflower, and peanut oils. Unhealthy oils that contain trans fats include shortening and soybean oil, aka vegetable oil. Spreads, spreading delicious calorie-rich toppings on toast, crackers, lettuce, and any other carbohydrate source is an excellent way to increase caloric intake. Some good high-calorie spreads are guacamole, olive oil, green cheese, hummus, butter, nut butters, sour cream, cheese slices, and mayonnaise. For even more calories, mix these with shredded meats like chicken or fish. Supplements Some nutritional supplements are designed specifically for weight gain. Investigate brands and products that are suggested for people suffering from illnesses that lead to weight loss, such as Crohn's disease or hyperthyroidism. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like.